Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. And in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can classify one particular data belonging to which class when you have multiple class in your training data set. Okay, there is multi-class classification. So whatever support vector machine use case we have seen till now that we have done basically for binary classification. Like if you consider our social networking ad, uh, that data set, whatever we have worked, that we have tried to predict one particular person will uh, purchase that product, yes or no, okay? Purchase or not purchase based on his or her age and annual income, right? So basically there is binary classes. Two classes are present and for one new data set, we need to predict the data set might belong to this class or may go to this class. Now, suppose you have multiple option, okay? Suppose three different class is present, okay? Suppose uh, one is basketball, another one is baseball, another one is football, okay? And you are applying image classification using SVM. Now, one new image comes and you need to predict whether the ball is basketball or baseball or football, okay? So, that time, we have to use multi-class classification, our binary classification will not work. So, how we can do that? The idea is very simple. We are going to just extend our concept for binary class classification to implement this multi-class classification. And how we are going to do that? So this particular image represents the whole algorithm actually, okay? Suppose I have three different classes. One is class one, this triangle. Another one is this circular class two. And another one is this cross section class three, okay? Now one new data set, data point comes for which we know the x1 and x2 value, we need to determine whether that particular data will belong to which class, okay? So how we are, how we can do that? Because SVM basically creates linear separation, okay? Between two classes, but here three classes are present. So how SVM is going to work? The idea is very simple. SVM is going to create three different support vector machine model for classifying in this multi-class classification. This is, the number is not three. The number is actually uh, total number of unique classes present in our data set. Okay, here there are total number of uh, unique classes are three. So it is going to create three classes. And in each class, how it is going to train? Suppose for class one, it is creating one model, right? So what it will do, it will consider all the training data point belonging to class one as true, okay? as true case or we can say logical one and rest all okay rest all that is this data point belonging to class 2 as well as the data point belonging to class uh, uh, 3 as false okay or we can say logically zero right and it is going to create this model so here now you can understand this is binary classification that is plus one and minus one two cases are present right so what it is going to do it is going to predict based on this classifier and suppose the probability that that particular new data point which uh, we need to predict from which class it belongs come uh, the, the probability that the particular uh, point belongs to this positive class is p1 okay here what we are considering as p1 p1 is the probability that that particular point will belong belong to this particular positive class okay then same data set we are going to apply one new SVM model and how this model is formed let me just erase this particular part try to understand this particular algorithm with clear concept because this will help you for coding part okay whatever I am uh, telling now same thing I will reflect in the coding part in my next video okay so here it is it, it has two more models and how these are created so that particular data point may belong to class 2 also so it will make one model for class 2 how all the training data point belonging to class 2 will be considered now as positive uh, data point and all the rest data points belonging to rest all other classes will be considered as negative uh, data point okay so so again this is binary classification and it is going to predict what is the probability that that particular point will, will belong to the, to this particular positive class okay suppose the probability is p2 okay then next i hope you can understand what we are doing here basically here one more class is present this class 3 so what it will do it will basically let me just 
change the ink color it will basically take this particular red class data point belonging to red class as positive and all other data point belonging to all other class okay as negative okay and then it is again going to apply binary classification okay and then suppose the probability that particular data point will belong to this particular positive class class 3 actually is suppose p3 now what our model will do our model will try to find what is the maximum of these three probability in between p1 p2 and p3 p1 is representing that particular data point is uh, probability of the particular data point is belonging to class 1 p2 is basically uh, showing or giving us the idea about the probability that the newly coming point is belonging to class 2 and p3 is giving us the probability that the point which came newly which we want to predict is belonging to this class 3 this cross classes okay then whatever probability will be maximum then obviously that particular new data point will belong to that class right as simple as that so we will try to find maximum of these three probability and uh, for which for which class the probability will be maximum the new data point will belong to that class as simple as that right this algorithm is called one versus all or one versus rest okay and i hope you can understand why the name is like this perfectly there is a significance in the name one versus all why because internally it is implementing such model where we are comparing one class data point with respect to all other data points or rest all classes okay so one versus all or one versus rest okay so i hope the concept is clear to you try to understand each uh, words whatever I have explained in my this video uh, clearly because this is going to help you in the coding part which I am going to show you in my next video for multi-class classification using SVM right so this is all for my this video if you have enjoyed this video please like share and comment and if you have not subscribed my channel till now don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you for watching